I'm Jay Davis, and this is my studio. Um, I've been in the space for 14 years in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. It was a chicken feather cleaning factory, and I moved in here with a few friends in 97. With my paintings, I never actually draw things out. I never plan anything out. Um, so all the paintings are built bit by bit, but they always have the, the deceptive quality of being meticulous and completely planned out. You know, I think I enjoy having the ability to take like a still image and to take something that's so static and that people are um, flooded with every day and to give you something that can grow and expand and while still remaining a static image, but can grow with you as well, that can involve baggage you may bring into it um, and baggage that I've inserted myself as well. But something that, that's ever-changing that, and it's elastic. This is how the paintings start out. And these are, well, this is how the works on paper start out. And then they start building, they start coming together at, you know, as this information builds on itself. painting's called Good Intentions, and I was thinking about utopian architecture, I was thinking about these utopian structures in the southwest built out of bottle walls, and I was thinking about the idea, like, the good intentions poorly executed. Um, and I think in a lot of my paintings there's always, it's kind of like the, the highlights magazine when you're a kid and it's trying to find the, uh, look, what's wrong in this picture? So this painting is what's wrong in this picture. It's built in correctly. Maybe you're inside the bathroom that the bottles were stacked on the on end rather than on side and everything just fell apart. This painting I just started over here, the fake text, and it's kind of a auxiliary piece to these four paintings right here. These four, um, I'm working on individually. This panel right here is the only one that's as an individual is done, and I say that because I often make my painting go together um, in different ways. So they they not only come together, you know, in, in a conversation with each other in a singular space, but they also I make them to where this it's a literal uh, movement together, to where they can often fit together like little puzzle pieces. They, so that way they have a conversation between each other, shared elements that become different that become different things in each painting. That's a lot to look at. <laughs> so lately I've been doing a lot of work on paper and I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of small works, big works, and, and, but concurrently working on paintings as well. I, I tend not to work on one single thing at a time. This is one of the few paintings that I have that's actually finished in the whole studio. And this one is uh, Please No More Birds. Really the only things that are really offered that are um, totally literal are the, the little bird legs. And then you're left to piece the rest of the painting together yourself. Um, and piecing that together yourself, I think, sometimes can take a really long time. Um, this makes total sense in my head when I look at it. This would be the like the beak of the bird and this is the wing of the bird and this is another wing of the bird and this would be the body of the bird so it's basically a bird with just a giant head that functions as a body. I guess you can assume that on the other side of the painting repeating where these legs were was another identical face to that but which is now in his netherworld belly which doesn't exist. He's only a head as well so they're both only like heads. As technical as this was it's completely unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> 